Hey guys, it's me, Alexis Lubrons here, coming at you guys with another video, and as you can tell by today's video, I'm going to be doing a painting tutorial, and this is a Reborn Custom that I'm doing, and I thought I'd film, and you know, give you guys a video, um, this was filmed a few weeks ago, I think, so, um, yeah. <laughs> so this is just a little before of her. Um, so you can see how she progresses, and it's just going to be the first part of the video, so let's get into it. So yeah, I'm just showing you guys her, and yeah. So I'm here, I'm just showing you some of the paint things that I use. These are just paint palettes that I got from the dollar store. Um, I hear all the time that you should not use plastic because it can mess with the Genesis paint. I personally have not had any issues with using these plastic things, uh, paint palettes. I mean, if you want to spend a little bit more, it's easier to clean, um, I understand. But I just use some acetone and things like that. So, um, here are the paints that I'm using. I'm just using a few paints. That one is Warm Blush for blushing and creasing. That one is Flush 08, a holy grail. And that one is Vein Blue. And Patho Blue works good also. That was just lip blush and nail. And that one is Baby Skin. So, there you go. That's the paints I'm using in the beginning. Um, I will be using red a little bit later. Um, also, the next, I guess I used some Q-tips because she was sitting for a little bit. Because I am moving. So, um, I'm going to clean her up with some acetone. This is just 100% acetone um, before I start painting her. So, you'll see that here. So here I'm just getting some acetone. It took me forever to get acetone out of here. So it might just be easier just pouring it in a clear thing. And then <laughs> getting the acetone and cleaning your doll properly. But I was determined to just dip it and then it didn't work. So later on I decided to pour it in a cap because it's easier. And yeah, so here I am pouring it in a cap because it is a lot easier. I also recommend a glass bowl. Do not, and I mean do not use plastic, um, any type of plastic, microwave safe plastic, paper, styrofoam plastic. The acetone will get right through. Um, and I think it eats glass too, so be careful. <laughs> That's all I can say. So I finally got some make sure you screw your top because if it spills it'll eat the table i do have my thing here but you know it will eat that too so be careful with acetone um so yeah here i'm just cleaning it cleaning around the eyes getting the dust off the dirt the excess glue from the eyeballs in and all that fun stuff So now that I am all done with that, I am going to go in and paint her. But before I paint her, if you can't tell in the background, I'm going to show you guys her that she's clean and all that fun jazz. But now I'm going to set her down, prop her up so she doesn't get dirty again because that would get on my nerves. And then I'm just going to take some acetone because acetone gets the dolls off. That's why I have acetone to take it off. And we're just going to clean some of the pots in it whatever you call these the little dividends where you divide your paint so I'm going to clean that off and um you just don't want to mix paints so clean it off I mean you want to mix paints when it's necessary but yeah just make sure you start off with a clean 
thing and these are really easy to clean i just use acetone the acetone on the napkin doesn't eat through the plastic so um yeah it's good for me i guess um maybe i will invest in some glass ones but right now i don't see that it's necessary um so yeah i'm just cleaning them off really quickly and um yeah it was really gross so <laughs> but they're clean now and i have four spaces to clean i would have cleaned the other plate but i might use them later um because it was just blue and pink and I always need blue and pink uh, in there so i got in my mode i put in my earplugs and i'm mad that i did because i wish i talked because now i have to talk now <laughs> but yeah um hurry up so i just mixed my first paint i did a whole video did i do a whole video on mixing paints if i had that i will do a whole video on mixing paints um it's not hard at all i thought it would really be hard to get the right color but genesis heat set paints have some really good colors um but i always start with a flesh color so this is just a plain wash of flesh and i just paint all over the doll face like you would do your makeup or someone else's makeup or painting the canvas it's easier to start with a completely neutral canvas than the like the whitey color that the kids come in some come in peaches but yeah so now you're gonna start blending it so you just do a tapping motion all around the face like i'm doing here um, it's really easy, but you gotta learn how to blend and look and see and let the paint dry. I've seen really cakey dolls, and I wonder why they're all so cakey. It's because they don't let their paint dry, or they put way too much paint on your doll. A little bit of paint goes a long way. So, what I always do is I firstly do a wash of paint, and then I put that in the oven. That would be my first bake on this doll. Then you're going to let it cool. I think I showed you that in this video. But I honestly don't remember. So. Yeah. And just continue to do that. Make sure you blend all up in the ears. Up in the forehead. Especially if this baby's going to be bald. You want to paint the top of the head. But this baby is going to have hair on it. So. There's no point in me. Covering the hair with paint. When I'm just going to cover it with hair. So I'm just pouncing and I do do in a little bit of the forehead lines, um, like a little bit of, you know, I'm talking about the hairline. The hairline is going to go a little bit further, but you know, you still want to be, I don't know. I just do it. You're going to still see it when the hair like lifts up and things like that. So I do blend a little bit in and you don't want to have a really harsh line. So I do blend up on the top of the head as you can see. And then you want to blend down in the neck as you would do your makeup. You don't want a harsh line and you want this doll to look as realistic as possible. Blend the ears, the inside of the ears, all of that fun jazz. I don't know why I keep going out of frame. I'm irritating my own self. So, um, yeah, blend all in the ears like I said. And, you know, do you. Um... I took some more paint and like I said, I'm going up on the hairline and the ears behind the ears. I hate when people forget to do behind the ears, behind the ears. That's just showing. So do behind the ears. I use the other side of the end of that sponge thing, if you can see um, behind the ears. So it just makes it easier to blend because it's a flatter section. I don't know if I showed that in a video, so I'm just telling you guys now. Yeah, see, I'm using the other side, and I use the other side to get inside the ears. Sometimes I use a brush to get inside the ears, because if that paint sits, it's going to dry like that. So, heat set is, you have a lot of wiggle room. It's a different than air dry. So, with heat set, you gotta heat it to cure it, like you do jail nails. So, um... But if you heat set that, there's no way you're going to get that off unless with acetone. And acetone could be really messy and it can ruin your work. Um, so, 
make sure you blend 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 like you do your makeup like you would do an oil painting you want to blend that color in because if it sits it's hard to get out especially now that you see me doing the neck line area if it gets in that crease and I'm not very careful with blending it and I leave the paint in that crease it will get this very harsh white or whatever color line in it and you don't want that because skin does not have <laughs> lines we're very blended as you can see you know I don't know babies have beautiful skin so you want your doll to have beautiful skin and not random white spots and you don't want it to be blotchy or anything like that so you want it to be very blended so that's why it takes me so long I like to blend sit here this took me about 20 minutes maybe to blend 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 so I'm just telling you blend so yeah I'm just sitting here blending and blending and blending um I think I'm going around now I think I'm almost finished so yeah let me just oh get underneath the eyes because I have to crease too blend you want it to be blended into the forehead a little bit you don't want a harsh line so blend if I see after it dries any like um marks on it from the sponge i go in and i blend so now i'm waiting for it to dry we her dry it takes like two three minutes not very long to dry so we're waiting and i'm going to come back with you either after i baked or i might do one more layer but i think i usually i usually bake after my first layer so now i'm just waiting for so it to for this color okay for this now color we're here to do the modeling i used to do modeling two times i didn't bring it um, and i use a red color and then i go in with a darker color but i always start with the That's darker it. color first i already had some mix and um, you can use both so i'm gonna mix your lip brush and nail color um that's what i use for my darker layer but before i had these all these fancy pre-mixed colors i was always mixing trying new things like um and this Color. Red O2 right. mixed yeah, with a little bit of like purple like and um and this is gonna go under flesh and it's gonna look eight. Like it makes a beautiful one. color. It will look something like hell it's except already, I did a little bit darker um tones and you know it's a whole different light. skin tone. I don't know why I showed him, but it's basically gonna look like him. Green. Um he has veins and things like that uh, in hot. his face already. Um, I, I am working on two all at one time. Um, like just fresh with time. But that is my modeling, modeling sponge. Um, that is what I use to create these modeling. If you ever look on a baby, they have like little um, red spots. That's, that's what I've seen. Personally, I haven't had a kid. But um, that's what I've seen on babies. I always look at babies. Any new babies that come in my family. So old doing? babies. You know, I have to look at them all to see what features I have. So we're just going to take a little bit of paint thinner and mix it into our Genesis Red. I did not show you that but it's just Genesis Red. Um, I already had some pre-mixed. But you just get Genesis Red. This is like old paint that's been sitting if you just mix it with some um, red color. I have certain brushes I use for certain colors. I don't like to mix so just in case the paint seeps out of the brush because I didn't wash them properly. You know, I just like to stick with the colors. I stick with a few of the same brushes. And then I'm just going to use that brush um, to go in um, with it because it's also a redder tone brush. So I'm going to go in the paint. Um, that's what I use for my creasing. Um, I forget what I was saying here, but that's what I use for my creasing. Um, these are just brushes I found on Amazon. Personally, you don't have to go out and buy them. Don't put baby brushes that cost like number three, five dollars a brush. When you can find a whole pack for five dollars. So, yeah. when am I done? Okay, so I'm going in with my paint now, mixing it up, blending it up.
It's a nice little wash. So once you are done mixing your paints, uh, I wanted mine to be a little bit thicker than I made it, but it's fine. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to do multiple layers of this. This one actually got mixed with some flesh, so I wanted to make it a little bit more pure red color. More like a black color, that's what I like. But it was like more of like a purpley color, which I didn't mind. Um, if you're looking for that more deep red, that's the color you Mine had a little um, bit of flesh. Oh, wait, flesh, in it. So. Uh, so it came out like that. It was that. fine. I didn't mind it. That color was really nice. It. Um, you always want to have a white surface to test it on and see. So you're going to take your brush and you're mm. going to paint it on your sponge is the easiest way I can make it because that's basically what you do. You just paint it on your sponge. I was out of frame but you just paint it on your sponge. I always test it and then I go and put on a baby. Um, always turn your sponges different types of ways so the modeling doesn't look stupid. <laughs> that's what I said. Or like you wanted them to be there. You want them to all look natural. This is why I put um after it dries I go in with to blend it. Um you can't really see a true color on there but it was a lot more red tone especially after I put my second layer of modeling. So I wanted to go in and blend it out. You'll see that in a little bit. Um but so I went in and blend it out. But it doesn't really matter. Um you can just go in with a couple of flesh tones and even that baby out and so it doesn't be so red and it's also about the customer's preference and always and your preference honestly so um communicate with your customers and you know whatever looks good to you because sometimes this can be deceiving so um yeah so here it is you can barely see it or i can barely see it honestly so but it was more potent in real life so I'm going in on the ears. I like to do modeling on the ears. Some people only like to do modeling on the cheeks. It's really a personal preference. The baby has modeling all over the faces. Especially Caucasian babies, which I don't think she's fully Caucasian, honestly. I think she might be Mexican. But she is very red, so modeling will help with the red. I don't I used to do like these like ready tone cheeks. And I my babies used to look like clowns, honestly. So I've definitely helped and changed growing as an artist and I just blend it out to make it blended like I was getting specks off the base then but I blended it and she looks good and I'm going to let her dry so let the baby dry that is I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna let the baby dry for one to two minutes and then you're going to put it in the oven so I just put it in an oven and she came out and, oh, wait. Oh, I'm going to do veins first. My bad, I do do veins. So I'm going to do veins. That's the color I use. Is it a blushy nail color? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm going to do the vein blue. It got, I don't know why I'm telling you this again. It got mixed with flesh. Okay. Veining. You're very light veining because I'm going to go over them. I'm very light on the little nose. You know, because this is your first layer, you want to be able to build up. So, um, I'm very light. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to cool for about like five, ten minutes because she's still hot to the touch. So she is very hot so to the touch, but I have a nice, I have very high mm, heat tolerance. tolerance. I don't know. It's weird. I don't know. I like my shell like scorching. <laughs> it actually runs in my hands. So the baby is very hot but to the touch. She's very like, hot. Super hot. So like, before I, you might want to leave it in the oven if you're very sensitive to heat. So um, because it's like start painting touching the cookie. Again, it's still hot. Um, okay, she was very hot. Hotter than normal. I let her so, sit in mm. the pool, but um, oh, she's, and she's very cool. soft, she's gonna so you don't want like to paint her. And afterwards, I don't know why he has a little bit more of uh, redding tone and stuff like that because he has two layers. Anyway, on. she's very hot to the touch. Um, you so I'm gonna show dry, you and this baby. Um, if you're wondering what kit this is, this is the yeah, she's very hot. A little bit. This is the 
painting style. Ginny kit. So, yeah. She also has um, Bayonie. My final for baby, and this is the Logan. Real born Logan. And I, this is a real born yeah. Ginny. She's very awake. soft right now. This but is a real born soft. Logan awake. That's why you gotta watch she's your oven. If you're using a painting, your dog can melt. Yeah. She is a custom. Your dog can melt in these ovens. Also, also be very careful with my new way. And usually I why you really need to prepare your paints if you need to. Prepare your paints. I just use these things. I got these from the dollar store, and I haven't had any problem with using the plastic ones. I know some people say that they do. If you want to buy the glass ones, go right ahead. But I was on a budget. So yeah, still is on a budget. When I first did these, so you know, I just bring them out. Um, with a little bit of flesh tone, so that's why I'm you right now. Um, but yeah, you just want this mainly. Well, I'm curious in this step. So let your dog dry. Um, um, if I use waiting, you can mix paint and things like that. I know picture. I had to mix some. I'm waiting for a few reference pictures that I'm going over which is really red on here and I'm not going for the newborn look. So I choose this picture and this picture. She's still like a newborn on here, but she also she has some color. So <laughs> well, this is like another picture because she's a lot older. And this picture it has a little glare. I'm going with this picture. She doesn't look like she has much eyebrows. So, and I'm not that good at eyebrows anyway. So like a little bit of light eyebrows. Nothing new. She has a very like reddish tone. Olive-y. Not olive, but very nice yellowy tone. Um, her lips are really red, but not too red. Really like how this baby looks. Um... You know, she isn't having like beauty marks that I've seen. And I've seen the baby the girl while she's older, so I know kinda what she looks like and kinda what I want to go through. This kid really looks like her to me. Um besides the chubby on this of the face. She 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 has a really nice chubby face and I really like this kid. For this specific doll. Um so yeah, we're just gonna let her sit and chill for a little bit because she's still kind of soft so yeah guys the head um, and i'm gonna show you guys the legs in another video or something like that i do a little, little bit of different techniques um, on there but yeah. i'm gonna take a little bit like a few drops so i'm gonna take a flesh 06 And then we're just gonna do another little light, but I think that makes it a little bit better. But we gotta do what we gotta do. So I take my crusty dusty brush. Here's what she looks like now. Once again, I did some veining in her. She has some nice modeling. I baked her, and we're doing another flesh layer. Um, so I've been really working on this doll for long, too long. I feel. Not too long, but, you know, a while because life has been trash. But, um, basically what I'm going to do is, I'm just taking the brush and painting it over. This is what I do just to cover up the red tones. And I know some people do this, I know some people don't. And then I take my sponge and I pat in it. Um, I don't know if I showed you how I did my mopping and stuff like that, but this is not a very in-depth tutorial. Um, if you want an in-depth tutorial, I can do one after I move, which is hopefully in the next two weeks, um, or less, because I think it's going to be less. I think we're we'll using next week, actually. And she's going to look oily, but trust me, she's going to have a nice skin tone look trust me um with this i'm just gonna do the head with you guys and then i'll just do my legs and things like that later on not later on but off this picture what am i talking about and you want it to be blended my first doll sucks i don't show you guys how i really let mix my paints and things like that but mixing paints and blending it properly Okay, because she had paint 
and her. I'm not gonna show you guys how I do her from start to beginning. Um, but yeah. I'm just showing you a little bit of overview of her. She looks so shiny right now. So that's from the oil. Not the oil, but the is pink an oil? I think so. You know, just get the excess paint off her and the specks off of her because you don't want that to bake in your doll. And I just blend where I need to go. And that's my like fifth layer. Not my fifth layer, that's my third layer. I'm just going to pick some more paint because I'm all out. You know, just whatever colors you use for your paint. Mm -hmm. The more layers, the more it's realistic you can get. Practice, practice, practice you get better. So I'm going to take another flesh color. It looks white, but trust me, all my undertones and things like that, you gotta really look at a baby and see. I'm going to make her a little bit darker, a little bit later, but I want to cancel out the uh, redness but not completely just neutralize it a little bit but I don't want to cancel now I think having redness and red tones make the baby look more realistic in my opinion and I know this baby that I'm replicating is a lot of red tones and not too red so, but she was a red baby, but not too much. And then also when I put my um, skin uh, layer on a little bit later, after I do my detailing and everything like that, like she doesn't have eyebrows yet, eyelashes, or well, you put them on before eyelashes. Um, but yeah, if you've done dolls before, you know what I'm talking about. But um, if you haven't, I'll do an in depth video later. Because I like to help, but I don't like to give away all my secrets. <laughs> but yeah, I wish some more artists give out more of their secrets. So I like to give out some of my secrets. And I use brushes and little like cosmetic wedges. And I don't cut them because I like to smooth and I give my texture in my artwork in my art form especially like a modeling sponge is what this looks like you just you know and um sometimes for under the eyes it's just like makeup you want to blend it but don't smear so i do like a tapping motion sometimes up in here i do like a smearing motion but Sometimes, but mainly tapping all over. Just want to make sure it's not cakey. And that's it. Before you bake. And then we're going to do our creasing a little bit after. And so far, I've only done two bakes, which is one when I did my first layer, and then the second one when I did my redding layer, and then I'm going to do a, another bake once I do a few more layers of paint, and then I'm going to probably do two more layers, like I said, of skin tone-ish color, and then I'm going to bake, and then do creasing, let it dry, 
and then I'm going to do fill in my veins let that dry then I'm going to do another wash of color and then I'm going to let that dry bake and then I'm going to um, do some more detailing and creasing and things like that and make the baby come to life any marks that I want in the end she's gonna look <laughs> left like this okay because it's the beginning stages of her um I'll probably do another video because it's um I don't know when I'm gonna post this video but um I'm gonna do probably another video if I'm still here <laughs> um I probably will be because we move in about two weeks I think I'm actually not 100% sure we'll see um I found out in a few days so um by the time this video drop, I'll then I find out. So um, I'll let you guys know probably the end of this video. Um, but anyways, yeah, here it is, cutesy, cutesy, cutesy baby. Um, but yeah, I can see the paint drying, and I want to fix that. My nails look crusty. I want to fix that and I see it dry so I want to you dry before you bake but if you see any spots you don't like you can blend them out with a little bit of paint then um, things like that so don't bake right away because you might see like sponge spots you don't want you know whatever okay I thought this video was gonna be like a jingle video <laughs> but I also want to just walk you through basically what I do um, with my dog. Let me take this band off before y'all see where I go to the doctor. <laughs> oh, I had a doctor's appointment today and it was not fun. I mean, it was like it was boring. It was a waste of my time to go. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So, here's what the doll looks like now. I know the lighting in here sucks. I'm in my bathroom because that's the best lighting in the house right now um and the most quietest place because people's in my room trying to clean it out and i didn't want to edit this video because i'm taking a break so and i didn't even move in my room i think i'm in the kitchen anyways i thought i'd end this video for you guys um and i also have some good news i might do a whole another update video maybe later i'm not really sure but we finally got our house and we finally can move in we put it on the holding deposit which was a lot of money um so they hold it and won't rent it to anyone else um i'm so excited it's like so much stress lifted off my shoulders and things like that Ooh, and thank you guys for all the prayers and all my customers for being very very patient with me because i'm usually not like this at all but I have been so stressed because I didn't know if I was going to be sleeping on the street <laughs> or in someone else's house or, you know, whatever. But, or, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, but I'm so glad and thankful that I finally got we got the house. And my mom is moving this weekend to her house um, because we both had to move for her apartment. My bad. Um... And I'm so excited and I'm so thankful. Thanks for all the prayers and the patience and, you know, the unconditional patience that you guys had. Because I know, like, it was so much stuff going on. Like, it was stressing me out. Like I said, I might do a whole other video on that because I could handle everything. Family issues, financial issues, moving issues. And we're, we have to leave because they're selling the property. We live in California, but I guess the, um market is really high for people buying houses right now so they're selling houses so people who's renting people's houses properties are having to move so it's a lot and i'm trying to stay calm and i'm really happy because we found out today um when i was making the video i wasn't really sure if we were going to be here when we move and i'm giving people different dates and things like that because i honestly didn't know where i was going to be in at the end of this month so um once again i'm thankful 
But um, if you have any video ideas or anything like that, I probably won't be able to do them right now. But um, I will be vlogging, trying to vlog the moving process, especially today because I'm starting to move everything out today or not today, like yesterday, <laughs> kind of a week ago, because we were going to all move into a storage um, because we didn't know where we were going to go and who brings a bunch of stuff to someone else's house if you're staying with them or to a hotel or wherever we were going to go before we got approved for this house. Um, my grandma is having her surgery in January, um, but she goes for a pre-op in December, so that's in like two months, and we're moving this month, which is crazy, um, school is stressing me out, but I'll do whole nother <laughs> video on that if you guys want to know about all my fun adventures that i've been having with mental health and moving and all that fun jazz and dolls and all this fun stuff that's been happening in my life so thank you guys for watching i love you all so so much peace and bye